Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee for a Tuesday. It's I'm, not Friday. I know. <laughs> but Galen Dunn is here, so... That's your song. Thank you so much. Got to play it for you this morning. Thank you. And uh, Jeff Vaughn is over there. I'm Mark Turner. Jeff is in the house. Jeff is raising the roof. Raising the roof. Jeff is in the ooh, house. Ooh, ooh. Come on, Jeff. That's, come on. That's me. Jeff has oh, his. Oh, come on. He has an A game today. <laughs> he looks serious. He, I mean, he, it, he looks more serious yeah. than normal, he, doesn't he? He, he does. He does. Yeah. We're going to lighten things up. <laughs> I have trivia okay. today. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna we are gonna change things up oh. just a bit today, okay? We're gonna move trivia from the bottom of the hour mm-hmm. <coughs> to about eight thirty or so. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna replace the we're gonna move the Carnaby Square question of the day back just a little bit, okay. and we're gonna put that <laughs> trivia right in front of it's sure. you know. We're just, we're just going to do it because because Jeff is going to have to leave to go to the courthouse for the Murbarger hearing. So Correct. what we're going to do is we're going to so he can be here for trivia. Absolutely. Which two things? One, I did not request this. I'm fine with it, but this was not my request. I just want to be clear on that. That's correct. Two. No, it'd be B. There's and B. Thank you. There is the one and B. Yeah. Or two and A. No. One and B. One okay. and B. There's the possibility that I could be here for the entire show and still go and make it in time for the trial, but or for the hearing, excuse me. But you know, want to give plenty of time to who knows what's going to be at the jail before going to the courthouse for for the hearing and well, such. Yeah. So, yeah. and and that was a request on my part because I I want Jeff to be here. I mean, it's uh, and I know I'm jumping in on things here, but um, I. First, I want to thank you for inviting me out, and um, the few times I've been out here, I've always enjoyed it. We always um, enjoy having you. Mm-hmm. And thank you for including Hunter, uh, my nephew, <laughs> when he's been here. He, that is just a, a thrill Hunter for him. Is, Hunter has been a blast when um, he's been out here. Yeah. So it's been very special for for him, and I appreciate you uh, including him and including me in so this. And, Hunter fits right in with us because yeah. we all like to give Jeff on a hard time and hunter does the same yeah. thing yeah and you know it's just a shame that jeff murray's not here today yeah. but <laughs> you know it's it's funny i was talking speaking of hunter and and giving a hard time i was talking uh at church with someone in my uh well in the sunday school class i was in about a a super expensive meal that they had that they had just gotten must be Chick Fil A for, for a family member and jokingly, I said it was Chick Fil A and she looked at me and she goes, "That's right." And I and I said, I said nothing out loud because it was a serious conversation and I I didn't want to, I didn't want to be that guy. But in my head I was going, I know, yeah, I knew yeah. that it was Chick Fil A yeah. because. You talking about an expensive meal well, we, you know, that you're disappointed in? The, you talking about Chick Fil A? The, the thing is, you, you eat the the Chick Fil A and it just kind of lodges in your throat here because it's so <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> so he's multitasking. So it's just you and I right now, Jeff. I mean, right? I, uh, can we even fill time? I had I had to answer this this trivia question, or this uh, huh? not not trivia question, <laughs> but but a question. And I wanted to tell you guys that the blonde bomber is going to join us. First thing tomorrow morning. The blonde the bomber. Let Jay me Scheidler. Oh, I, 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 I've watched him play basketball before. I forgot, yeah. it, I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 Jay what? Scheidler is going to join us tomorrow morning uh, right after 8 o'clock. Yeah. We're yeah. going to talk with him for a couple of minutes. He's going to be in the area yeah. for a book signing yeah. on it's Thursday. Exciting. It's exciting. How about so, that? Yeah. A pure shooter. Yes, yeah. Before my time, but I've I've heard yeah. I've heard the stories. And, and most of if not all are true, just to me. He's well, just, I mean, I'm you know, just, never accused someone of falsifying a story. No, I uh, to a basketball the, game. The the thing that that astounds me is he scored. I think he scored like two thousand plus points at Lawrenceville High School. Okay, how many how many would he have scored if they oh. had the three point line? Uh, yeah, that's uh, He'd be up there in Pistol Pete territory. That's yeah, right. I mean, I mean, I mean he I mean the, he is the Pistol Pete of 
Illinois mm-hmm. basketball. Yeah. Yeah, he was really, really good. Um, yeah. So, no, thanks for having me out. Appreciate the Friday theme music. That's oh, just uh, – <laughs> All, when I hear that, it just always just brings a smile on my face because well. I really in, well, I remember we incorporated that yeah. without Dreeth knowing it. Yeah, he just you know because you know he kind of liked to be in the know, and then Mark was the kindest to let me uh, pull the inside track, and I I don't know that he really liked it, but you know there's a lot of things I did he, that he, he got over it. Well, you know. I didn't realize it had been going on for that long. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. He called me up one day. He said, "Hey." When I'm on this this Friday, can you play uh, can you play the Cheers theme? I was like, sure. Why and not? you know, it, the thing that brought that was um, about was, you know, we went through the COVID mess for so oh, long, and nothing was normal. And at that time, everyone was looking for a, a little good news, uh, a little yeah. breath of fresh air, something normal, something to maybe yeah. just bring a smile to your face. That song does it to me. You know, it's just like. You know, uh, when Dave Savage comes in, we have to play BB King early in the morning. You know, when 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 it, when Jan and Dean are downtown, we gotta have the corn dog song. <laughs> the corn dog song. Okay. You know, so sorry, I've taken too much of the time. I'm you just, have not taken no, too much. I, of time. I see your list of things over there. I mean, well, you got all these yeah, days. It's like Jeff Vaughn Day. Never. No, it's not that. It's that always, will never be a day. It's, it's always Jeff Vaughn Day. Well, you know, he's, no, he's, no, he's, he's the superstar. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe we just better leave now. He is, he is the superstar of news. <laughs> That's absolutely not true. <laughs> well, he's. <laughs> oh yeah, we can we can talk about this. Well, this is a little kung fu fighting. Oh yeah, Carl Douglas. So absolutely well, not true. Not, it's well, that's Carl Douglas. Close right. enough. The kung fu fighting part of this. Yeah. Can you do kung fu? I'm sorry? Can you do Kung Fu? No, absolutely instead of, not. Instead of, I've not trained. Instead of the Kung Fu Panda, he's the Kung Fu Bond. Hey, I, 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 I you could I chop this. Kung Fu Panda. You, you could chop this. Because he's... No, I, I can't, though. No, like, go ahead. You can do it. No, no, no. No, you can. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm more likely to break this hand in half than I am to dent this you, Are table. you sure? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Today is Alien Day. It is Audubon Day, in the name of, you know. Is that the bird John, or the, the, bur- the, bird the, or the track and yeah. the roadway in Of Germany. which they have a John Audubon State Park over in Henderson. Mm-hmm. Very they nice. Do. It's Get Organized Day, Hug a Friend Day, International Chernobyl Disaster Remembrance Day, huh. National Dissertation Day, National Help a Horse Day, I saw a guy with a horse yesterday. Did you really? Yeah. Was he helping the horse? I probably, probably getting ready to help the horse today. National Kids and Pets Day. National Pretzel Day. Hmm. I like that. Man, pretzels with ketchup. Uh, That's where it is. Pretzels with Are ketchup. Are you serious? No, I'm not serious. But you know who does like that? No. Your son. Colin? Pretzels with. You know, there's ketchup? a lot of things wrong with him. Yeah. Not not straight. I mean, pretzels. With like meat inside, but oh. even so, he, oh. he dips it in like a pretzel burger or something. Or pretzel a... dog, pretzel dog. Okay, in particular, yeah. he oh. likes it with ketchup, All and right. it's just a, an abomination. Uh. <laughs> it is a National Static Cling Day. I've got some of that going on right now. Yeah, uh, that coat is rife with it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal? I shock you. <laughs> it is Remember Your First Kiss Day. Hmm. Richter Scale Day. Just a, just a baby. <laughs> School Bus Drivers Day. Uh-uh. And it is World Intellectual Property Day. <laughs> Got about eight acres in that head of mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Lynch was born on this day in 1983. Jessica Lynch. Uh-huh. Best known for being captured by Iraq. In the Iraq War, she was rescued by U.S. Special Operations Forces uh, a few days later. She was, um, well, they called her the American Girl Rambo, who fought to her last breath and following capture was tortured and um, other 
things done to her by Iraqi mm. forces. Mm. Uh, there's been some question about a lot of this stuff here in the last few years. Um, you know what? It doesn't matter. If you're a POW, you deserve some respect. Absolutely. 1785, John James Audubon was born. 1933, Carol Burnett. She was in, um, she had her, of course, she had, Carol her own, show. she had her own show. She was in Annie, oh, Four yeah. Seasons, Mad About You. Um, she, what was the movie with Alan Alda? The movie with Alan Alda. She, uh-huh. was, she was in a movie with Alan Alda. And, and how appropriate that we were discussing Kung Fu a bit earlier. Excuse me? How appropriate we were discussing Kung Fu a bit earlier. Uh, Jet Li has a birthday. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, Kevin James from the King of Queens. Oh. Melania Trump is celebrating. Pablo Schreiber from Orange is the New Black and Weeds. Jordan Brewster from The Fast and the Furious. Channing Tatum. And Emily Wilkersham from... NCIS has a birthday today. Yeah. What are we... Uh, Channing Tatum? Yeah, Channing Tatum. Is that person in a movie out just recently? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Channing Tatum. The Lost City yeah, he's in, uh, Magic yes, yes, yes. Mike. The Lost City. I watched that movie the other day. He's also in Dog, isn't he? Oh. I don't know. I've never seen that movie. Well, I've okay. never heard of that movie. It's I've a heard movie of called Dog. Dog. Right. Uh, 1584, William Shakespeare was baptized at Holy Trinity Church in Stratford upon Avon, England. Avon, England. Uh, 1607, English colonists went ashore at present-day Cape Henry, Virginia, on an expedition to establish the first permanent English settlement in the Western Hemisphere. 1777. 16-year-old Silber, uh, Sybil Ludington, the daughter of a militia commander in Dutchess County, New York, rode her horse into the night to alert her father's men of the approach of British regulars. What was her name? Pauline? Sybil Ludington. Pauline. All right. I got you. Was she Paul Revere? Uh, she was not. Was she a silversmith? I don't know. No, 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 no. Well, I thought he was the one that did that. It sounds similar. It must be the same person. It was a copycat thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it was. It was a copycat. <laughs> British weren't coming. Yeah. No. Uh, let's see. 1968, the U.S. exploded beneath the Nevada desert a 1.3 megaton nuclear device called Boxcar. 1977, Studio 54 had its opening night in New York City. 1986, an explosion and fire at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. 1989, actress, comedian Lucille Ball died. Was that long ago? Yeah. 89? It was that long ago. All right. Hmm. 1989. Trying to see what else. When did Desi die? Before that. Prior? Before well, that. I mean, yeah, but like, was it decades before that? It was, it was a decade. It was at least a decade before. Huh. Music News, 1977. Oh, well, we already mentioned Studio 54. 1994, Jefferson Starship singer Grace Slick pled guilty to a charge of threatening police with a shotgun. She explained that she was under a great deal of stress Hmm. after losing her home and possessions several months earlier in a fire. I don't know. So, yeah, just get a shotgun and start... Start brandishing. Mm-hmm. 2016, Prince's sister says the music icon had no last will and testament. So I get this stuff. <laughs> yeah. No living parents or children who could inherit his estate. So she got the stuff. <laughs> uh, Trust me. There was nothing. All right. Duran no Duran and Eminem lead the fan voting for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame class of 2022. Now, there are two names that belong together. Yeah. yeah. Doubles. Yeah. Duran I mean, Duran. Eminem. Uh-huh. Just, just like Paul Revere and Sybil Longstocking or whatever. <laughs> no, Pippi. Duran Duran, ah. number one. Eminem is number two. Pat Benatar, three. 
the Eurythmics, number four, and Dolly Parton, even though she huh. said she doesn't want to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, is number four. We're going to put you in anyway. Yeah. Voting ends on Friday. Can you decline? Like, I, if you get well, voted in, can you be uh, like, nah? I, I guess you could. Uh, what, a, what a power move that would be. Well, that's true. What a power well, move. You know, oh, uh, I just, I'm not a rock and roll singer. But, but I guess, you know what, though? I guess she had a couple of hits years ago that did cross over. Remember the song 9 to 5? Mm-hmm. Remember that one? That was mm-hmm. a crossover hit. Oh. Well, Bob Dylan refused something one time, didn't he? Yeah. An award? Yeah. We're not sure why. We're not sure what because we couldn't understand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want it. I know a man that did his dissertation. On Bob at, Dylan? On Bob Dylan. Really? Wow. Motley Crue is Takes teaming up with Brutality Coffee. That's B R E W T A T. That's a great name. Yeah, I, I love that I name. I do too. The new options include Kickstart My Heart Dark Roast and the Espresso Blend French Road. I'm, I'm not a coffee guy. I'm, yeah. Neither am I. Brutality Coffee donates part of its sales to the Save the Music Foundation, <laughs> which supports music programs in public schools across the nation. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. it is. Okay, that's a great so, name. We're pushing the Carnaby Square question of the day back a little bit, so okay. we're going to do trivia. You have trivia for us this morning. I do have trivia. Okay. This is catchphrase TV trivia. Catchphrase TV. So I'm I'm going to give you a, a line, oh. and you and you will tell me the person that would have been. I guess uh, remember for saying associated that. the yeah, person, not the show, the person, the person. That's All correct. Right. Okay. Um, so you're gonna keep track? Or are you just gonna answer? We're gonna answer this as we go, or what? Ah, we'll keep track. We'll do it when we come back. Okay. Well, Jeff, you have nothing to keep track with. That's all right. I'll keep track with my mind. He's, he's keeping it in the vault. And we'll keep vault. track with the mind. Okay. It's 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 part of that. It's it's on one of those acres of his intellectual he, property. He has a lot of intellectual <laughs> property up there. I'm telling you, vast amounts. He's okay. got a warehouse. A warehouse. <laughs> yeah. Full. Yeah. Full. Just enough room for some trivia. There we go. Ugh. And and then I have some sports trivia. If you'd rather oh, have that. All right. Nah. And sports that's trivia. the way it is. All right. Baby, you're the greatest. Okay. Book them, Dano. I knew this would be one. I've got it. (laughs) I've got got that one. With no gyrations or anything, Elizabeth, I'm coming. (laughs) I know that one. And this is for Sheldon Bunting. <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Cleaver. You know, <laughs> you know, I I almost did leave it to be for trivia today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that that may, that may have I don't I don't ever remember a time when anybody said anything to Sheldon ever that he's been speechless. <laughs> I'm glad I was a part of that, I think. <laughs> okay. I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> Just one more thing. Okay. Um, live long and prosper. Mom always liked you best. The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. All right. You rang. You rang. Very good. And, oh, my Lanta. (laughs) Oh, my Lanta. Mm -hmm. And then, here's one more recent. This person drives me crazy. Yeah. Tell you what, that's a good pitch right there. (laughs) (laughs) And and then Uh, we can fill in. I've got. I've got, you know, just... Um, Some uh, random sports. Trip. Random sports, too. All right, too. so if we'll if we we we'll do those, yes. then we'll go to the Carnage yeah. question. Then we'll come back maybe to those a little bit Yeah, later. we'll chase that rabbit back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're celebrating 42 years of passion for fashion at Carnaby Square. With our Facebook coupon, you'll save 25% off one clothing item when you buy one. Exclude some stations. Sign up for prizes. We can brighten your day and mom's too. Whatever her style, classic to on trend, Brighton's new jewelry collections, charms, amulets, handbags, timepieces, and sensational shades will make a perfect gift to wow your mom. It's been an amazing journey of 42 years. We thank you so much. Carnaby Square, downtown Fairfield. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshares. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, well, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder and CEO of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. And the process started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. Timeshare is the only thing that you can buy that you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. When you buy a timeshare, you give them a blank check to fill out any... Our connections make powerful things happen, uniting individuals and communities. We are Rotary. We are people of action. With over 1 million members, we know what people can do when they come together. Around the world, generations of leaders build new friendships and solve problems, turning great ideas into reality. Take action with us. Find out more at rotary.org slash action. So when you start incorporating material things and services into the definition of natural rights, well, think about this. What does that do? You are creating a web of legislative action. You are creating bureaucracies. You are creating overseers. You are creating a greater potential overall for tyranny. Tune in to The Dana Show, 7 to 9 p.m., Monday through Friday, right here on WFIW AM 1390 and FM 103.3. We believe in patriotism. We believe in our nation's youth. We believe veterans earn their benefits through their service to our nation. We believe in a strong national security. We believe in our country. For 100 years, veterans have been impacting our nation through the American Legion, and we believe it makes a difference. If you believe, learn more at legion.org slash we believe. Hon, look, it's heartburn. He's going to try and ruin our vacation. Don't worry. I pack Prilosec OTC. One pill in the morning prevents excess acid production that can cause frequent heartburn. Nice. Aloha, heartburn. Block heartburn from your summer bucket list with Prilosec OTC. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Don't wait until you have heartburn to start Prilosec OTC. Kick your summer off right and look for Prilosec OTC at Walmart or Walmart.com. Time Capsule, sponsored today by Save-A-Lot Food Store on West Main, Fairfield. Hi, this is Bill Stevens with another Time Capsule quiz. Which month and year was it when John F. Kennedy Jr. died in the crash of his private plane? Air Force Colonel Eileen Collins became the first woman to command a flight of the space shuttle. At the British Open, Frenchman John Vandeveld had a three-shot lead on the final hole, but he hacked his way to a triple bogey and lost in a playoff. It's sad. It's very sad. Can I go and play it again, actually? David Cohn of the Yankees pitched a perfect game. The U.S. women's soccer team beat China for the World Cup. Lance Armstrong became only the second American ever to win the Tour de France. Pete Sampras and Lindsey Davenport made it a USA sweep at Wimbledon, too. And these All-American winners were new on the radio. songs coming out of your radio the answer and a little nibble of the top song from the month and year are coming up swing by the fairfield save a lot and take advantage of these great deals hold boneless pork loins $1.99 a pound roma or slicing tomatoes 99 cents per pound fresh cabbage 59 cents a pound or fresh asparagus $2.99 a pound Prices mentioned are good through Saturday. Good food, great people, great prices at your Save-A-Lot store located on West Main. July 9th. 
1999. Christina Aguilera and Genie in a Bottle, the top song of July 1999. This is Bill Stevens for tcapsule.com. Back soon with another time capsule. Time Capsule has been sponsored today by Save-A-Lot Food Store on West Main, Fairfield. Your family's care team is close to home at Hamilton Memorial Family Clinics in McLeansboro and Carmine. From routine care, vaccines and DOT physicals, to disease management, x-ray, lab work and COVID testing. With nine providers and eight specialty care clinics, Hamilton Memorial has you covered. Plus, for those unexpected illnesses, our weekend walk-in clinics in Carmine and McLeansboro. Hamilton Memorial Hospital Family Clinics. Here for you now, like we've always been. Straight Talk Wireless now has the new iPhone 13 with cinematic mode, which lets you focus on what matters. And with Straight Talk, you can focus on getting the best deal. Our Silver Unlimited plan is just $45 a month for unlimited talk, text, and data. And it runs on the largest, most dependable networks. Now with nationwide 5G. With the iPhone 13 on Straight Talk, you can share whatever you want, wherever you want. Straight Talk Wireless. 5G-capable device required. Actual availability, coverage, and speed may vary. See terms and conditions at straighttalk.com. Okay, we've changed things up a little bit today. Why? Well, because we can. That's right. <laughs> it's, so. it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday, and we just feel like change. Blowing the roof off the joint. That's right. We're raising. <laughs> no, that was, we're raising the roof. A few days ago, out at your house. For, that, that's right. Yeah, we're, Shocking. We're raising the roof to yeah. add on to our intellectual property. Yeah. I, so. <laughs> got a lot of vacancy up there. With <laughs> All right. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some questions. And that's the way it is. Walter Cronkite. Yes, Walter. Okay. Baby, you're the greatest. Was that um, was that from Dirty Dancing? No. From no. 1955. Baby, you're the greatest. Oh, how about this? Pow to the moon. Oh, so that's, okay. Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Jackie Gleason. Nope. Ralph Cramden. Ralph Cramden. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ralph, yeah. In the Honeymooners. I'm sorry. I uh, knew the show, didn't know the guy's name. Bookum Deno. That's Steve McGarrett. Uh-huh. That's right. Elizabeth, I'm coming. That would be um, Fred Sanford. That's right. Did you know that one, Jeff? I have, I've heard the saying, but I've never actually heard it from I mean, its original. He'd always grab his heart and stagger around. Yeah. Elizabeth, I'm coming. Elizabeth, I'm, I'm coming. I've, I'm I've, coming, I've, Elizabeth. Good morning, Mrs. Cleaver. That would be... Um, yeah. Oh, what is his name? Uh, Eddie, Eddie, um, Eddie. Eddie Haskell. Eddie Haskell. This is the way I am in life. I know nothing. Sergeant Sh- Schultz. Schultz. That's right. Yep. Uh, just one more thing. Columbo. Correct. Ooh, that was, that's good. Hey. Live Come long on. and prosper. Spock. Mr. Spock. Yeah. Mom always liked you best. I have no idea on this, and I was thinking um, it was. Uh, that was um, Ray Romano. I well, I thought it was going to be Robert no. Barone. Is I mean, isn't that yeah. Brad Garrett? But I I don't think he ever actually says. I don't think that's his catchphrase. No, I think because his was "Everybody Loves Raymond." Hmm. Yeah. So I think that was probably Robert, no. wasn't it? Tommy no. Smothers from the Smothers Brothers oh, variety. Okay. I don't know what I don't know what I that know. is. The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. That was from the Wide was World, the World of Sports. Yeah. Was it John Cameron Swayze that no. did that? No. Uh, 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 McKay. Did Jim McKay. Jim Very McKay. Good, Very good. You yeah. rang. Lurch. Lurch. Yeah. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Betty White. I don't no. want to. I don't want to know this, but I have a guess. Go ahead. Is it? Uh, oh shoot! What's her name? Is it Penny? Something. D. J. Tanner from Full House. D. J. Oh. Tanner. Okay, good. I was okay. Oh, good. Okay. Tell you what, that's a good pitch right there. Jim Edmonds. <laughs> he, <laughs> he 
is the worst. <laughs> no. No, he is the worst. No. Oh, I don't mind no. I don't mind Jimmy Ball game. I really don't. Oh. <sighs> no, I don't watch every game. You know, he's plugged into the wall. Like he just excuse me. He just plugged into the wall just nonstop. Just uh, plugged that, into the wall. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Never runs out of energy. It is oh, time okay. now oh. for the Carnegie okay. Square question of the day. Carnaby Square is the fashion leader in downtown Fairfield. They are celebrating their 42nd anniversary. 42nd? Wow. Well, Christy's just, she went to work there when she was two. I think so. <laughs> I think so. All right. It's an the impressive question, run. <laughs> the question was, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Jeff? Uh, so I had a list, and I don't remember a everything list? that was on it. Yeah, well, I so I've been told by mom and dad i do believe that meteorologist and train engineer were on that list i there were a few more i i think but i can't remember off the top of my head and train engineer. i loved trains okay mm. like not the not the kind of trains that we see now mm. but like with the cow catchers on mm-hmm. on the front of it okay. like that style of train i loved those things and even even the kind that we have that go through fairfield okay if i was at a friend's house they're on on King Street, if we heard trains run down to the end of the and you'd wave end of the curb and, and look wave, at it, you? I wouldn't. I don't think I would wave. It was a long time ago, but I really liked trains. Okay. So sue me. You know what? So sue me. I feel personally attacked. Okay. I'm gonna leave here. Wow. You're um, gonna leave? Yeah, it's about well, that you time. You know what? <laughs> Fine. Just be that. Caleb, <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you? I, I guess I don't know. I don't don't remember anything. I guess I wanted to. Do something outside. Yeah, I was like, well, you kind of did profe- something. Yeah, outside. I did for only for thirty-two years. So. I wanted, I only. wanted to be, I wanted to be a fireman because yeah. I was, or a police officer. Sure, was, I was in love with the TV show Emergency ah. mm-hmm. and SWAT. Hmm. Those were my shows. You didn't want to be a doctor. You didn't want to work at Rampart. Nope. No. Nope. Wow. I wanted to be a paramedic. Rampart's a the best part of that show. I don't know about that. Or following my dad's step footsteps and be in the military. So that there was you go. that was my three. Uh, let's see here. Donnie <laughs> says a policeman. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's see. Um, Mike and Lori, a lawyer, a grill cook. Uh, no, they are grill cooks now. Oh, okay. You know, the Mike and Lori from K and M, of course. Huh. Um, Shirley says first. To be loved. Second, an opera singer. Third, a special education teacher. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Steven says business owner, specifically, start his own national fast food franchise. Don't All right. let your dreams be dreams. That's right. Uh, Rebecca says... Indeed. I think that was a response. Yeah, I think that's a response, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nick says to be part of a family and be a great father. Hmm. Very admirable. Diana says a trapeze performer. A vet. Not me. Or no. work at a store. Not not me. You don't want to be a trapeze. Those, those heights, that's going to be a no from me, dog. Chris. Chris. Uh, and I think you know Chris. He was here. Wants to be a rock star. Yeah, wants to be a rock star. Challenge accepted uh-huh. and met. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Stacy says an astronomer so that they could study the stars. Nice. Tommy says a, a, a break dancer or a BMX rider. Man, again, <laughs> the some of the heights that they go up... Mm. On, well, on some of that stuff. It, that turned me off of it. But it was pretty neat to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brandy says a marine biologist. Crystal. Ooh. Yeah. That was yeah. That was it, too? Yeah, that's a good one. All mm. right. Let's see here. Uh, Crystal says she wanted to be a marine biologist, too. Yeah, I had no idea what it was. But it sounded really But, man, it sounds awesome. Yeah. Let's see. And then I learned, and I was like, no. That's a lot of water. She wanted to be either a race car driver or a nun. Which are, again, like Duran Duran and Eminem, just, I mean, 
Yeah, one and the same. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's Barbara what you think says, of immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Barbara says a rodeo star, Robin, a bank teller. Mary says a TV star with a dog and a horse. Non-negotiable. I wonder if they both talk. Not. My co-stars must be <laughs> Mr. Ed and Benji. Yep. <laughs> or Lassie. Or... Horse, of course, of course. <laughs> Gene says a nurse. Cheryl says a veterinarian. Natasha says a vet or a teacher. Ray says a marine. Th- th- another marine, marine biologist. biologist. Yeah, I'm telling you. Melissa says a veterinarian. Justin says he wanted to be a pro wrestler. Mm. Lonnie says a western ranch owner. Patty, a, a police officer. Terry says a train engineer. And you guys <laughs> thought I was insane. No, Nancy, I didn't ever think yeah. that. Insane. Nancy wanted to be a <coughs> dolphin trainer. A dolphin. That yeah. would be a room. That's right next to the marine, marine biologist. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Lowell says a talk show host. Red Hog says alive. Nice. Yeah. That's a good I'll, answer. I want to keep doing that. Yeah, that's... Uh, Leanne, an archaeologist. Mark says a Ooh. professional baseball player. Hmm. Yeah, I was never he, wanted to be, he just wanted to be on a baseball card. So. Oh, oh uh, all right. Well, you, you can get those printed up. Yeah, you can. Little League card. You can you still get, do that. We used to... Good morning. You're on Morning Coffee. I always want to be an underwater archaeologist. Pretty cool. I like that. Thanks for the call. Thank you. Underwater archaeologist. That's a pretty cool one. All right. See you, Jeffrey. Later on, Jeff. What else we got here? Uh, another Tommy says a chef, a movie director, and an animator at Pixar. Oh, Pretty cool. That'd be someone fairly young. Yeah, think Susan so. says a teacher. Cheryl says a forensic anthropologist. Hmm. Pamela says a nurse. MJ says a private investi- or private investor. Hmm. Mm-hmm. David says a teacher. Stacy says a teacher as well. So, you know, the teachers, are, that's, that's just a wonderful thing. It, it is. Um, you know, they certainly do it for... Uh, I guess certainly not the money. It's uh, just to enrich the kids' lives, and, and we have lots of great teachers right here in Wayne County and other places that uh, we should just put them right at the top of the list and say thank you for everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, you have some trivia. You have some more trivia I, for us. I do. Um, and this, So this is like your last week here at the radio station, yeah, correct? Yeah, it is. Well, um, how about some lasts here? And this is... Um, last trivia. Last. Last, okay. Um, the last person to walk on the moon. Oh, wow. And, and you do you want to pause or just how you want to do this? No, go, let's go ahead. We'll do the questions okay. and we'll take a break. Last person to walk on the moon. The last Major League Baseball player to hit 400 for the entire season. Okay. Um, the last time St. Louis hosted Major League All Star game. Okay. That uh, wasn't too long ago. I thought it was more recent than what it was, oh, but really? it's okay. it's not that long ago. Um, the last Cardinal pitcher to win the Cy Young Award. All right. Um, last Cardinal to lead Major League Baseball in stolen bases. Okay. Um, last one to win the National League batting title. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these are just in the, kind of the same time frame because, boy, they were really hot then. Yeah. Uh, last one to win Rookie of the Year. And um, eh, that may be about it. So it's, uh, you know, kind of a mixed bag on things. Okay. Uh, but just a little more last here. A little, a little more of the last. Yeah. The last things that happened. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get some answers coming Absolutely. up. Southern Illinois Tile and Carpet in Mount Vernon has all your flooring needs. They have a large selection in stock and always give great service. Southern Illinois Tile and Carpet certificates are available on the Big Deal Store. It's a calling that's kept us free. It's a place to belong. What's the calling? 
being a member of the Air Force Reserve. It's doing a job that makes a difference. Serving your community and your country. It's part-time service where the impact is full-time. And the experience, education, and other benefits you receive can enhance your civilian career and your life. What's your calling? Air Force Reserve. AFreserve.com. We're celebrating 42 years of passion for fashion at Carnaby Square. With our Facebook coupon, you'll save 25% off one clothing item when you buy one. Exclusive stations. Sign up for prizes. We can brighten your day and mom's too. Whatever her style, classic to on trend, brightens new jewelry collections, charms, amulets, handbags, timepieces, and sensational shades. We'll make a perfect gift to wow your mom. It's been an amazing journey of 42 years. We thank you so much. Carnaby Square, downtown Fairfield. One, two, three, four. In 1964, the Beatles invaded America. Now you have the chance to see the best Beatles tribute on Earth. On Earth. On Earth. 1964, the tribute. May 5th at 7 at the LTC Zorman Arts Center. Get your tickets today. Call the Lincoln Trail College Foundation or visit showticksforyou.com. 1964, The Tribute, May 5th at 7. Hey, this is John and Casey Yoakum inviting you to our 7th annual Heaps of Jeeps Festival on June 17th and 18th. We are throwing a big party Friday and Saturday night with live music from area band Smoke Rings and the high-energy Nashville band Tailgate Revival. Including food trucks, beer garden, live auction, kid activities, and more. Don't have a Jeep? No problem. This event is open to the public for the whole family at Highland Woods Park here in Vincent's. Weekend passes will be sold online and at the gate for a donation to our local first responders. Check out heapsofjeepsvincennes.com for more details. We'll see you there. From Whitey Ball to Tony La Russa, and now Oliver Marmol, it has always been about the Cardinal way. It's about entertaining the fans and winning championships. This year, the Cardinals are trying for their 12th championship, and we'll be with you describing every hit, every home run, every strikeout, every double play, and every win. Cardinals baseball right here on the Cardinals Radio Network, here on 105.9 WOKZ Fairfield. My name is Bobby. I'm a veteran and lost my leg to a roadside bomb. My victory was going from a wheelchair to becoming a weightlifting champion. I'm Sam. I'm a veteran. My victory was finding a career I can be proud of and supporting my family. America's veterans are on their most important tour, the tour of their lives. I'm a veteran. My victory was going from homeless to home. At DAV, we're on a mission to help veterans get the benefits they've earned. I'm a veteran, and my victory was finishing my education. DAV offers veterans of all generations a lifetime of support for victories great and small. My victory was proving that a disability is not a limitation. My victory was getting my service dog a new best friend. We help more than a million veterans every year as they face and conquer their challenges. My victory is being able to be there for my family. When America's veterans win, we all win. Help us support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. Your classic hits Fairfield area weather forecast. Sunshine today, high 59. Tonight, clear skies, low 36. For tomorrow, mostly sunny, high 66. Partly sunny on Thursday, a 20% chance of showers, high 67. Friday, chance of showers, high 66. And the outlook for Saturday, showers likely, maybe a thunderstorm with the high 73. Overnight low was 38. Yesterday's high, 64. Currently, humidity is at 59%. Winds out of the northwest at 10 miles an hour. The pressure at 30.39 and on the rise. Right now, sunshine and 43 here at the WFIW studios east of Fairfield. Radar showing nothing but clear skies all over southeastern Illinois this morning.
What now? Is that a little dire straits yeah, there? A little dire straits. Okay. So we have uh, the last. Yeah. I mean, this is your you know last week's radio station yeah. again. Thank you so much for well, including you. me in some of the morning coffee yeah, times and also a lot, a lot of fun. My my nephew Hunter, he just loved it so much. Uh, thank you so much, and the Friday theme music, just love that. Well, but uh, thank we'll, you so much, and we'll get hey, to hear that one more time. Uh, so. Just best of luck for uh, you know things coming down the path for you. All right. Um, well. So last trivia. All right, last. Last person to walk on the moon. I had no clue. I had to look this up. Was it um, Michael Collins? Well, that was on the list. It was like a, there was a choice there. Okay, okay. But it was Eugene Cernan, and that was in 1972. So Man. 50 years ago. Wow. That was the last person to walk on the moon. Um, so the last person, Major League Baseball player, to hit 400 for an entire season. Ted Williams? Ted Williams. Okay. He goes into the last game of the season, a doubleheader. He goes six for eight and ends up batting 406. Talk, talk, about, uh, talk about being a clutch. Oh, man. Yeah. Clutch player. Man. And then in, in his last game, which was not until 1960, he homered in his last at bat. Wow. Um, so the last time St. Louis hosted uh, the Major League All-Star game, well, I know it was the first year that new the Bush Three was open, so um, it, time just got away from me. Is it ninety eight? Nineteen ninety eight? Two thousand and nine. Wow! Well, and I knew, so I know it's pretty recent. And I just I thought it was like you know two or three years ago. Pfft, no, two thousand and nine. Okay. Um, last Cardinal pitcher to win the Cy Young Award, and this was from two thousand and five. Wow! Oh five. Because I was thinking, you know, it might have been Wayno, but it's not. I don't know. Chris Carpenter. Chris Carpenter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and this, these would be back in the nineties. Uh, the last one to lead uh, Major League Baseball in stolen bases that was a Cardinal. Um, he got rolled up in a tarp. Vince Coleman. Yeah, nineteen ninety. Yeah. He was with the Cardinals in the in nineteen ninety. Yes. I didn't realize yep. he was with the Cardinals yep. for that. I thought he left. No, in 1990. You know, mid to late 80s. Um, last Cardinal to win the National League batting title. Uh, Albert Pujols. 1990. Oh, He's in Albert the dugout Pujols. right now. Um, but not as a player, certainly. He always had lots of gyrations in the batter's box. Willie McGee. Willie McGee, okay. From 1990. Um, I really thought Albert won a, won a uh, batting well, crown. Huh. Yeah. I might want to look at that. I okay. might, that may be an error. Um, the last person to win Rookie of the Year, I thought it was Vince Coleman, but it was not. It was Albert Pujols. Ni- no, 1986, Todd Worrell. Really? Yeah. Albert didn't win? Mm-mm. Nope. Wow. Um, and let's see here. Oh, uh, and that's it. You know, just this past week, because I love sports, um, Sunday, I believe it was, maybe Saturday, um, Miguel Cabrera uh, for the Tigers got his 3,000th hit. Wow. Uh, now, he's yeah. got 500 home runs, yes. too, right? Yes, absolutely. Hey, Jeremy, what's up, man? Hey, Jeremy. How's it going, guys? Hey, the alarm clock worked. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when I grew up, I just wanted to be invisible. Uh, be hard. I, uh, I have not managed to succeed at that. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I can see you. <laughs> so, so you um, – have you seen the video of Nationals rookie Lucius Fox? No, no, I haven't. I feel so bad for that guy. Two pitches into his first start of his major league career, he gets sick. Oh, no. Yeah. On the field. <laughs> On the field, no less. He's, he walks, he, second pitch, third pitch of the game, or after two pitches, he walks up behind the, uh, behind the mound, and he's standing there, then he, Puts his hands on his knees. The <laughs> next thing, I, it's just spewing. Everything's coming. Oh, my. Uh, I mean, and he'll never live that down. No, he no. He will never no. live that down. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. Yeah, that's crazy oh, stuff. man. So, uh, what what have you been, what, what have you been doing this, this summer? Or I've, I've been, spring? I've been wanting warm weather so badly. Oh, I, but, I am ready uh, for warm weather. It just uh, seems like it can't get here quick I thought, enough. I thought we had it Friday, I did. Saturday, yeah. and Sunday. Yeah, and but, then... You know, Monday showed up. Yeah. No, you know, just kind of mowing the grass about every four days and um, 
you know, doing a few things around the house. And I, uh, I have that zoizu grass. In hey, it's yard. dormant right now. I know. Yeah, just hang on. Yeah, I it, know. It is, it is proud. It. So the other day when I mowed, mm -hmm. I, I cut it really low. Oh, really? Because that's what they yeah. – uh, somebody told me. That, that grass, you cut it really low, mm -hmm. and then next time it rains, right. it warms up. It will right. sprout to life. Yeah. And then, I, then I, got, I got the bright ideas. You know, me ought to get a deep thatcher. Ah. My neighbor looked at me and goes, you realize how much grass that will pull up, right? <laughs> and then it dawned on me. It's like, yeah, I don't <laughs> think I'll be deep thatching. <laughs> <No. laughs> deep thatching is off the, off the table right now. I'm not going to do that. Well, Galen, thanks for joining oh, us this morning. No, man. thanks, Nita. I'm, I'm glad that you invited me out. Um, you know, certainly have enjoyed uh, coming out, but also listening to Morning Coffee. It's, uh, it's something that a lot of people really enjoy listening to. Um, you know, gives them that break from 8 to 9 just to kind of listen to something. You say it's about nothing, and that's right. Yeah, um, and... Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll you know it will continue. Yeah, after, after absolutely. So, you know, it's uh, it, it's something that people, like I said, enjoy listening to. And uh, you know, I, I don't know that I necessarily bring much to the table when I come out here, but uh, you've always made you me bring feel welcome. Nothing to the table. I bring nothing. Neither do uh, uh, neither do we. But so. uh, anyway, no, you. It's it's been great. Um, Thank you. And wish you nothing but right. the very best. Uh, Thank you. You know, it's uh, just. Got a lot of good things ahead of you it's there. Been, it's been 30 plus years, and I think it's it's just time to step well, away. Doesn't it go quickly, though? Fade away. Yeah. You know, it, go, old, it goes old, so quickly, though, huh? broadcasters don't die. They yeah. just fade away. Right. And so, hey, you got a big weekend coming up, huh? Yeah, headed headed down south. Going to yeah. see, see the Eagles. Okay. Hopefully Vince, well, Tina is hoping Vince Gill is mm -hmm. going to be with them. Right. So, well. we'll knock on wood. Yeah, that, right that'll, be a, that'll be a great All show right. for you, for, All right. for sure. Galen, thank hey, you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tomorrow, a couple of guests. David oh. Savage is going to join us. Spider. Before that, um, the Braun Bomber. Oh. oh, Jay Scheidler. Jay Scheidler is going to join us. We'll see you. Bye. Sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away?